All right, I'm doing a upper control arm on a 2007 Nissan Titan. So long story short, the passenger side is a lot easier to get to just because these bolts right here where the control arm attaches are a lot easier. On the driver's side, it is a pain. So this, uh, where'd it go? I used a seven eighths on this. Got that loose, ball peen just knocked this loose, right? Okay, so three quarters for the nut and 11 sixteenths for the bolt head. Now I'm going to go over to the driver's side here in a minute. Um, I'm not really gonna show you the installation just because it's pretty simple. Once you get the bolts and the nuts out, you pull it out, you put the new piece in, obviously you just wanna match up each side so you're not putting the driver's side on the passenger side vice versa they're pretty self-explanatory they only go one way um, and then basically same thing is once you take it out put everything back in you want to put these bolts in you don't want to tighten them all the way put your knuckle back together on your castle nut and your cotter pin slap everything back together put the wheel back on and then go get a uh, a, a tire alignment so if you do have trouble getting these nuts loose. Uh, I'm actually using this ball peen and a three quarters wrench and basically just tapping it until it breaks free. I, I put a crap ton of PB blaster on it. So um, it did help that side. I'm still having a little trouble just because there's not a lot of clearance for me to get this in here and kind of hammer that down. But you get the gist of it. We're going to go over to the driver's side and I'm going to show you guys what my issue was over there. All right, now obviously this is the brand new one. This is the one that I just took out. So you just wanna make sure that they look very similar because um, the driver's side one is facing the other way so it'll be in a different shape. Obviously just make sure if you are, if you haven't ever done this before or are new to mechanics, just double check, make sure everything looks similar. Also, uh, this might be a good idea. If you want, you can take, if you have a uh, bench grinder with a little uh, brush on it, just take your bolts, turn this on and just run them through. Just make sure all the grooves are good. If you got a little wire brush like this, just go in and around the bolts inside and just kind of clean those out. Make sure that there's no pieces of metal that are gonna either strip the bolt and the nut when you put it back together or anything like that. So just extra precaution. Also, um, it's entirely up to you guys, but uh, before I put the tire back on and the lug nuts and stuff, uh, I have a drill with a little wire brush on it. I'm not really 100% sure where we got this little doodad from, but uh, I basically just go over the lug, lug studs, just try to make sure that there's no burrs or anything in them. Um, this might not be the best. Obviously, you can't take the lug studs out without like disassembling the entire thing, but so if you guys have something like this or even just a wire brush, just make sure that you get any like burrs or anything that might have come off. Um, it will help in the long run, especially when you're uh, doing mechanical work. Because if you get something in here and it strips this, then you gotta take all of this apart, you gotta punch this out, and you gotta have it pressed back in. Uh, you can do it at your house, but it's a lot more of a pain. There's like a special tool you can get to put lug studs back in. I actually had to do it on the opposite side because one of the studs broke. Anyways, so yeah, just uh, wire brush these two before you put the wheel back on. Okay, so I torqued these down. Like I said, um, I just double checked it. Uh, 107 for these upper control arm bolts and 58 foot pounds. So 107 foot pounds, 58. Let's go over to the driver's side. So we got the driver's side back on. I left the wheel well off because when I take this in for a an alignment, um, it's probably gonna be easier. It's pretty self-explanatory to slap these back in. Anyways. So I tighten this to, to the best that I could. I don't have a seven eighths inch three quarter socket 
So the good and tight method, hopefully that holds. I basically just gotta drive down the road. Anyways, this bolt was the biggest pain to get out. And so like I PB blasted it a couple of times, um, basically had to use a hammer to just kind of like start to get the bolt to nudge type of thing. But if you remove these two, you can kind of get these out of the way to get a socket on this side, um, a very short socket. So it's 17 millimeter. If you don't have uh, an 11 sixteenths, so 17 or 11 sixteenths on that side, if you use this 10 millimeter bolts, you can kind of move these out of the way just a little bit to get something in here. Um, it makes it a little bit easier. This bolt, basically I had to just tighten it the most that I could because I don't have a breaker or a, not a breaker bar. I don't have a torque wrench that will fit inside of this because this is in the way. Um, so I'm going to have to see when I go to get an alignment if they can just double check the torque specs on this because obviously it's not 107 foot pounds. That one was and I'm pretty sure that I got this to 58 or at least close to it. I mean I tightened the shit out of it so but it is what it is. Uh, if you have trouble on this side like I said uh, PB blaster this to the best of your ability use a 11 16 or 17 millimeter three quarters or 19 millimeter just use a hammer to try and tap it to get it to break loose it's probably going to be your best bet until you can actually break it free and then uh, yeah so I mean that side obviously is a lot easier this side is the pain side so just stick your three quarter on this side and an 11 16 on this side and just kind of hammer it and get it out to the point where you can because basically the upper control arms that were on this i also need to replace the lower ball joints too um which i might have somebody do that but the whole inside of my tire on this is starting to go and the other tire is going so i'm getting new tires and alignment so if you guys found this video useful or helpful at all go ahead give it a thumbs up give it a like uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them, drop them in the comments. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. If you guys have any questions, like I said, drop them in the comments. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.